Maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Welcome to the Cloister of Trials. This is the puzzle parts of this game. It's kind of interesting, actually. They can end up being a bit tough. But they're not too bad. One important thing is, particularly in the international version of the game, is that you do need to remember to get the Destruction Sphere in every trial. The Destruction Sphere is basically a path to a treasure, and it's also something you need later on for some special stuff. So this is generally the idea. You walk around, touch things, find things, move things around, and the path opens up. For example, we need to place a sphere here. Glyph spheres open the way to the Chamber of the Faith. With a Y, by the way. Destruction spheres open the way to hidden treasure, and the Sage spheres are also necessary. Right, now we've grabbed the Glyph Sphere. We can place it here. This looks like a perfect place for a Destruction Sphere. And this looks like a preferred place for a glyph sphere. Before we go there, let's check here. Aha! More glyphs that do nothing. Abbey Sage Sphere. I'm pretty sure I've forgotten most of this, but, I mean, let's just sort of roll with it. Oh nice, he's pushing it automatically. Take the sphere from here? Yeah, we can. We're gonna place that here. Which does this. Aha! Destruction sphere. Now we need to place this, um, probably where this was. Uh, this explodes and there's a treasure. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Look at that. I'm smart. I'm good at puzzles. Nice. So that's the basically the puzzle. The cloister trials finished. Um, let's, can we just move it instead? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Only summoners, apprentice summoners, and their guardians can enter here. It's a tradition, very important. So what about you? Me? I'm a guardian. A guardian? Summoners go on a pilgrimage to pray at every temple in Spira. Guardians protect them. The 
audience in there now. One of them's got a sure fuse, and who knows what the other's thinking. Well, now that we've come this far, might as well go all the way. What are you doing here? Didn't think we'd be able to handle it? No, it's, uh, it's just... See, I told you she gets mad easy. I is the summoner all right? <sighs> Who are you? Man, was I surprised. And here I was thinking summoners were all old geezers. See anything? Ready. Okay. I had never seen anything like it in my life. Sure, it was a little scary, but still, I could feel a strange kind of gentleness coming from it. Valifor, the first Aeon that the Faith has entrusted us with. I'm not gonna bother renaming it because I think Valifor is a cool name. I remember that night we talked for the first time. I didn't know it then, but after that night, everything changed. For everyone. For me.
Let me introduce you to the team. This guy here wants into the tournament so bad, I let him on the team. His memory's a little fuzzy, so don't mind him if he says anything odd. Come on, say hi. Uh, hi guys. Hi. So what's our goal? To do our best! <sighs> nope, we got a new goal now. Our new goal is victory! To win every match, defeat every opposing team, to bring the Crystal Cup back to our island. That's all we need to do to win. Easy, huh? Now they're getting it. We sure got the boys worked up, huh? You know it. You heathen! Stay away from the summoner! You're a bad man! I am not a bad man. Lady Yuna, be careful. Jeez. But it was really my fault to begin with. Oh. 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 I'm Yuna. Thank you so much for your help earlier. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry about that. Wasn't that... Wasn't I not supposed to... Guess I kind of overreacted. Oh, no. I was overconfident. Um, I saw that Aeon thing. That's amazing. Uh, really? Do you think I can become High Summoner? Lady Yuna, come play with me some more. So, tomorrow then. Tomorrow? We're going on the same boat, aren't we? Oh, really? We can talk more. Huh. You can tell me all about Xanarkand. She's cute, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Don't get no ideas. No promises there, big guy. Hey, but what if she, like, comes on to me? That's not going to happen. If you get tired, let me know. I had a bed made for you. Well, we're not necessarily tired, but there's not much else to do, so... Mm, ready for bed. Let's do it. Good. Sleep tight. Where's, Where's that, that boat? boat? Everyone, Everyone will, will find, find us, us if it doesn't, doesn't come, come soon. soon. You, you really, really sure this, this is okay? okay? Would, Would you, you take, take me, me to Xanarkand? Hey! You, you said, said you'd go, go with me! me. Oh, oh, hey, hey I, I, uh... uh I thought Waka told you not to get any ideas. He did? Yeah. Yeah, so you're coming with me. Hey, stop dreaming! You with a woman? You can't even catch a ball! Oh, what's the matter? Gonna cry again? Cry, cry. That's the only thing you're good for. I hate you. Huh? What'd, What'd you, you say? say? You have to speak loudly. I hate you! Huh? That's, That's 
the spirit. You can do it. I hate you! He's dead, okay? Dead. He does look a lot like Chapu. I was surprised, too, the first time I saw him. But no matter what he looks like, he isn't Chapu. You shouldn't have brought him here in the first place. Yeah, but he needed our help. Excuses again? Yeah, but... That's it. No more. Enough, Waka. So, who's Chapu? My little brother, Chapu. He looked like you. He's dead? He was with the Crusaders when they fought Sin last year. He didn't make it. I first heard on the day of the tournament. Oh, so that's why. I became a guardian to fight Sin. Yeah? Revenge, then? That was the idea. <laughs> I'm more worried about a stupid game now than avenging my brother. Well, after the next tournament, I'll be a guardian full time. I know it kind of looks like I'm using you, but I'm not. Don't worry. I mean, I owe you a lot. You really help me out, you know? What I mean is... Thanks, Waka. <laughs> Stop! You're embarrassing me! Good morning. A new day dawns. Hey, sleepyhead. Something I want to give you. Whoa! You're giving this to me? Yeah, use it well. That's the sword you gave Chapu. Well, he never used it. Where's Yuna? We're taking the same boat as Yuna, right? Why do we gotta wait here? Yuna came to this village ten years ago, when the last calm started. The calm? Since then, she's been like a little sister to me and Lulu. But she had the talent. She became an apprentice. Now, today, she leaves as a summoner. This is our journey. We should leave together. You really don't need all that luggage. Ah, uh, they're not really my things. Th they're gifts for the temples we're to visit. This isn't a vacation, you know. I guess... I guess you're right. Okay, off we go. Goodbye, Besaid Village. Except not really. Because there's a secret item we're gonna go in and get. We're gonna have a chat with the shopkeeper. Who's in here, I think? You know, a funny thing happened. My dog dug something up yesterday. I wonder what it was. Your dog, you say? I can't remember where the dog is, actually. Is it in here? That's not a dog, that's a cat. 
Also, hello. No? Okay. She just walked right into me. No, they, there's the dog. Well, it's also a cat. Dog? He hello, dog? Yes, this is dog. Let's obtain something mangled and slobbery. Valifor has learned overdrive energy blast. This is actually pretty a pretty big deal to get early on. Um, it's not going to be a huge difference early on, um, energy blast versus the existing overdrive he has, but late game energy blast will actually break the max damage limit, while the other one won't until a certain thing. But either way, extra items. Here comes one now. Why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Alright, new sword. It's real good. No problem. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Might make a good guardian someday. A flyer. My kind of customer. That's right, Waka fights with Blitz Balls. But what's happening now is we're starting to see how different characters specialize in different ways. Um, this is a lot more noticeable in the beginning. For example, the real reason here why that worked so well is because... Let's see if we can go into this and show. You see that Waka has an accuracy of 25 compared to like 10 and 3 and so on and so on. Which is why he has way easier time hitting flyers who are very evasive. That looks like trouble. Ha! <laughs> Watch this! Told ya! Only magic can beat that thing. If you can't beat them down, you gotta use magic of an element they don't like. Magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Luke. You're up! Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Elements! Magic and Fiends have probably got elements. Fire, ice, lightning, water. Fire and ice are opposed, as are lightning and water. Spells of ice work well against fire fiends. And ice fiends are weak against fire magic. You follow? I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. This one here is a water fiend, which means... Black magic. Thunder! Pretty straightforward stuff, really. But you get the idea. So while you can just try to mash it down with physical attacks, obviously you want to have Lulu to do it. Every character is specialized in something. Take your time. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? Are you ready? What's going on? It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. That should do it. <laughs> 